Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be talking about changing out our davit, which is this crane, from a manual luffing crane to a hydraulic luffing crane. That's exciting to us because it's really hard to get this thing out of the water and up on that deck without falling off and killing myself. So with the hydraulic luffing crane, it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell so you see the rest of our videos that are upcoming. Welcome aboard. So what's a manual luffing crane? Well, it looks like this. You see these holes in this boom and you can see that plunger and so when you raise or lower the boom you pull out that plunger and you pick one of those holes problem is generally speaking the hole that gets the crane far enough away from the boat so that the dinghy doesn't hit the boat <laughs> it's too far out when you get the dinghy up on the deck so now the dinghy's hanging off the side of the deck and you have to really pull it back in to get it on the bugs and if it is windy or are there waves? It's bad. This is one of John's projects. So we have this crane. It's a new crane, and we are going to move it to the other finger dock. So we moved the boat over to the other side of the dock so that we can move the crane and then lift it up on to the back of the boat. And then the plan is. We've got our crane up here, and then we're going to hook it because that new crane's going to be here. And then we're going to lift it up to the top for the new crane. And then we'll have the guys come out and replace it. But uh, that's where we are right now. Yeah. Okay, then Michaela's got to go around, put the fenders down, let her go first. Yeah, we got our last trip and fall. Last one there, so there it is. Once we moved it over to the other finger dock, we then attached the harness from the dinghy to hoist it to the top and placed it on the dinghy bunks so it would be ready to be installed. And thanks to everyone who helped out. We really, really appreciate it. Boom! All right, who else has a crane that needs to be moved? All right, I'm buying beer tonight. Lots of beer. <laughs> Feel good about that? Yeah. It's fairly uneventful. Fairly uneventful. Now, we've got this we all got strapped this all in. Strapped, so it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, so we'll have, now we need to put in the new motor, take out the old one, unbolt the current crane, they'll lay that down right here, and mm -hmm. then they'll be able to pick this one up, flip it up into, feed all the lines, flip it up into the, the deck stand take the new crane and we'll drop the old crane just like all right so today we are swapping out this crane for this crane and they are basically identical except for they have power luffing on this new crane so you see the ram right here so that'll make the crane go basically up and down and the hose is back through the new one. This is the old motor and uh, the new motor right here. It's all going. That's gonna be tricky. Getting that in? It's tight. You know, I think I'm... Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna undo the tape. Okay. Everything's at kind of unequal lengths, you know? 
So this is the old 12 volt motor they'll be coming out. Um, if you look at the block, it basically has two uh, solenoids and an in and an out for the hydraulic fluid. The 24 volt motor is going in. We'll have four of these, one for the power luffing and one for the winch. Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to swap out here. It's going to be super tight um, because the other one is a couple more inches tall and uh, so we're going to have to be creative as we put the new 24 volt motor in um, but right now we're going to pull the two hydraulic lines out um, we're going to put a runner in so we can pull the others back through of the base and then we will run these four that have stainless on them again for those two pieces and here is the motor that we'll be putting in it's a 24 volt motor so we're going to take it uh, the current one off of our 12 volt system and we're going to put this one onto our 24 volt system that runs our bow thruster so it's actually pretty straightforward as far as switching over the electrical on it but uh, you know what they say uh, if you want to make god laugh tell him you got a plan so we'll see how this goes all this snaggy stuff you know if you need to fill the reservoir and it's so on that end the other one was this way yeah the other way yeah, about, yeah. You, and i was thinking do you think we can if we can do that that'd be awesome yeah why don't we give it a try and sure it. but i think the nose of this we can stick pretty deep in there because that other one just didn't take advantage of the, right. the space <laughs> yeah this? yeah coming out oh, yeah okay. yeah yeah so if we had to we could probably nip out yeah some structure what you want to see if that'll just sit on there no. maybe Carlin should do it so what we had to do is uh, I had to separate the positive bus bar that it powers the the winch um, as well as the davit, because the davit is now going to be 24 volts, so it'll be coming off of the 24 volt uh, battery bank that runs the bow thruster. So now, as you can see there, they um, had to cut that off because um, it ran all the way across. And that's what uh, we now have an independent power cable going to that breaker. So it's nice that the breaker still functions on the panel, and uh, he rewired it. I guess that's about it. Here's the 24 volt pump installed. This right here is the motor. All of these are the hydraulics. So this is for the winch uh, in and out. And this is for the luffing, which is the that up and down motion of the crane, which used to be manual. So much safer uh, being able to pull the boat out of the water and keeping it away from the side of the Elliot. And then when it comes up to the upper deck, uh, we can lift the luffing a bit so that it fits on the bunks much nicer because uh, when they were the dinghy would go up on the bunks, we'd have to kind of manually pull it in and it was a bit of a circus. Uh, and frankly, that's not very safe when you have a five, 600 pound dinghy that you're trying to wrestle around with a crane uh, that has manual luffing. So that's the new crane sitting there. This is the old crane which we will now sell make somebody a good deal that doesn't have a hydraulic crane because it's much better than the full electric cranes uh, in my opinion by the way since a lot of you are very attentive to these things if you notice all of those hoses are super close to the top of this access hatch and so we were able to line them up so that they just split between the reinforcing grids on the plastic cover and let me put this back down <laughs> it fits but just barely i couldn't have couldn't have turned out better as far as clearance goes so we have our new davit fully installed um so it's pretty sweet so what we used to have before was just the in and out of the the, the pendant would drop and it would come up 
as well. And in the new one, uh, we now have power luffing, so we actually can raise and lower Yay. the unit as well. It's gonna so, be so nice. Yeah, so if you think about it, that is very nice so that when you hook to the dinghy, swing this out here, uh, you know, where this doesn't center right now to the dinghy, we're now able to raise the luffing until it centers on the dinghy. You can winch it up, um, very safe, and then this is still a manual uh, rotating uh, davit. But then you can move it out there and we can drop the luff so that the dinghy is nice and far away from the boat. We don't have to worry about it racking the side of the boat. And that's it. We just installed this last piece over here, which is a hold down, so the hook will go to that. Um, we weren't able to through bolt it, so we're going to put uh, an elastic type of a hold down on it so that if somebody accidentally luffs or <laughs> winches it, it doesn't tear the hook out of the deck. Okay, so the last piece is bringing the old crane down with the new crane that we just got installed. So that is our project for today. Can you grab this? And it's okay to pull on it, it's a guideline. Okay. I'll hold this all the right way here. You want to go to the mid deck. Yeah. Take the other line. I'll stand in the safe location above the heavy side. I know, right? <laughs> Be safe up there, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, how'd you get yourself where, into that? Yeah, I was going to say, where did the helmets go? <laughs> they Here. grabbed the line. There you go. Okay, okay. And I'm just going to come over this way. Uh, back, up, move the... back up and pull the line. Yeah, there you go. I want you away from it. There okay. we go. And as we get closer and it gets in jeopardy, we'll figure out what to do, okay? Okay. So, let's go over here. Here, yeah, switch, switch spots. Real quick. Hey, how you doing? Almost down. Yeah, I think we're good. And you can just pick which way you want it to capsize. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that was pretty drama. Yay! We're kind of specializing in that right now, aren't we? Uh, well, that makes me really concerned. <laughs> About my weekend activities. <laughs> Ta-da! There you go project is getting the crane off the dock into storage and trying to sell it. All right, I see your job. <laughs> <laughs> I want you got that the job. important job. Yeah.